Hello, I'm Antoine, and in this video I am covering how to create a foliage for the biomes that I covered in the last part. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new voxel. Uh, graph outputs config. Uh, I'm just going to call mine foliage PGO. And we're just going to open that up. And I'm just going to add two. You can add a lot more, and you probably will for what you're doing, but this is just going to be really simple and only cover two biomes. Um, so I'm just going to use forest and savanna. Okay, then this is basically the same graph as last time. It uses the same ways to make biomes, but it's a little different. Uh, so we're just going to go over here and output. So if you have nothing selected over here, then this should show up. And we just select the new foliage output. Um, next, we're going to go back here and we're going to create a new voxel uh, mesh spawner group. And this is going to be the forest. We're going to create another one for Savannah. And then we're going to create the voxel spawner config. Foliage, Foliage config. Then we want to open that up. And we need to first of all get the generator outputs, and we do set to the same thing. And then we're going to add two spawners. For one of them, we want to add the forest. Okay, then we're going to go to the second one, and we're going to select savanna. Um, for my trees, I've been using 128 for chunk size and 512 for generation distance. You'll have to mess with that for whatever project you're working on. Um, then I'm just going to go up here to the density constant and instead change it to generator output. And I want to use forest up here because that's the type of foliage we're using. Um, and that one's savanna. We're going to go into our forest and our savanna mesh spawner groups. And we're just going to add a tree. I'm just going to add a few trees that are from the same set. Uh, then we probably want to turn this up because 10 voxels is pretty close to each other. Um, I'm also going to change my slope to a max of 35. I don't want it to be at a 90 degree angle from the terrain. Um, I'm put some variation in the scale and that one's good to go and this is just to cover how to do the trees uh, you'll do grass and stuff the same way but I'm just it's pretty much the same thing um, Okay, and then we have another set of foliage here, and I'll try doing like a 25 for that. I want this to be more dense by default. Um, okay, now I think we're good to go on this. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go to our voxel world. And we're going to add the spawner config, and I'm just going to add my foliage config. And then you can kind of see some of the errors over here, and that's just because we haven't actually programmed it inside the graph yet. Um, the foliage part. So we need to set forest and set, so set savanna. I'm just going to hook these up now. Uh, there's not going to be a branch or anything here. We're, it, it's going to be covered in what we're doing to plug it in. Um, okay. Now what I typically do is I create another height splitter. 
in this case, I'm just going to copy and paste this. And we just want to create another foliage. This is just so we have a separate set so we can mess with like fall off and height over here instead of messing with the one that's playing the color and all that because sometimes you want your foliage to overlap but you don't want your uh, materials to blend quite as much. I'm going to turn my fall offs down. So, I want less blending in this case because of what we're going to be doing with uh, multi index materials soon. Um, next, we are going to do switch float. And this is how we're going to determine whether or not to spawn something uh, for the foliage. So we just want the forest. And if forest is greater than, I'm going to use, I think, 0 0.4, then we're going to spawn it. Otherwise, we're just going to tell it zero, which means it won't spawn anything. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this for Savannah. Place the variable. And plug that in. And now we're just going to go see what happens. So as you can see, we have our forest trees over here. And we're getting our other trees over here. But they're a little dense, so... I'm going to turn up my distance between them a little more. Just so we can see where we're going. Okay, so as you can see, there's our savanna biome, and it has more pine trees than over here. Um, what we can also do to adjust this is if we go back to our graph, we can turn this up to be like 0 0.7. That means we need a higher value to actually spawn them. And then that way we get less intersecting over here. Uh, so if I hit play, can see there's not quite as many trees intersecting. You'll just kind of have to mess with this and with the... Uh, and if you go over here, then you also want to mess with the falloffs to kind of keep them separate or merge them together. Um, and you can mess with these too. You'll usually need a combination of both. Now, if you want to do foliage clusters, usually I just create another... Uh, let's say Perlin 2D noise. And I'm going to grab X and Y. Um, I'm going to increase the free, or decrease the frequency a little bit. And I'm going to put another seed in. And then I want to create a local variable, and this is going to be our cluster, our foliage cluster. 
Then we're going to get foliage cluster. And if foliage cluster is greater than And then we're going to have an and here, and it's going to require that both of these things are above certain values. And then I'm going to... Actually, for now, this is fine. It'll prove the point. Um, so our clusters are just on the forest biome right now. You can see we're kind of getting some clusters here. If I turn this back down to 50, we should see more clustering. Yeah, so you can see we're getting clusters and gaps. Uh, so to increase those gaps, we would just turn this up. And that way we get bigger gaps between them. Uh, there's also other stuff you can do with this, like you could also uh, do a height splitter, uh, turn it down to one, and then we can do the same thing where we lerp between two values, and we can use this as the density for the foliage cluster, like we're doing here, but it would be it would go from less dense to more dense. Um, that covers what I currently do for all of my foliage. Okay, so now that we have the foliage pretty much done, we are going to go ahead and do a multi-index material. So I'm just going to set my material to multi-index, and it's going to default choose MC Quixel, but you can choose any option, you can make your own. Uh, in most cases you will want to make your own. Um, so if you go to Voxel World and we open our generator again, uh, then we're going to add a multi-index. And by default we're just going to leave it at zero. This is going to be like the, the default material that's applied. Uh, and we're just going to leave all the settings as is for now. Um, then we're going to place a few more of these nodes, one for forest and one for savanna. Um, and in my case, I want to lock strength, otherwise I I get some of the overlapping default, which I don't like, but maybe it it, it, it could be useful depending on what you're doing. Um, so now I'm just going to get forest, and I'm going to get savanna, and we can just plug these in easily. should be a border somewhere along here. Yeah, you can see it. There's the forest material and there's the uh, savanna material. Um, you can customize this a bit more like we did over here. Um, and that might be necessary in some cases. It's once again a question of just blending and experimenting, trying to find the right combination. Um, in some cases you may even want to do what we did with the uh, height splitter up here and create a new one with uh, more or less fall off or different heights even. Um, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any more questions about foliage or materials. Um, I'll probably be making a few anyway um, when I find a few particular things out. I do intend on doing one about how to do foliage for caves. If you're interested in stuff like that, then please subscribe and let me know if you have any ideas about what you would like to see. Um, 
or that's frustrating that I could maybe figure out for you.